Today we're making soft oatmeal cookies. Come on in, welcome to my home. I thought I'd make a fun soft oatmeal cookie because I do love oatmeal cookies. So this is really simple, it'll go together really fast. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. I am going to take my flour, remember all the ingredients are flashing up there on the screen. So I have my flour, I have my baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I'm going to whisk these quickly together and then sit this off to the side. Let's get to the wet ingredients. I have butter. Now a lot of people always ask why I don't use homemade butter for things like cookies and that sort of thing. And I've always said, unless it's going to be featured in the item, don't waste your time using, you know, homemade butter. Go ahead and use just regular store-bought butter. To that I'm going to add my sugar, one egg, and a pinch of sea salt or a teaspoon of regular salt. Now if you are using regular sugar, this is going to cream together really well. If you are not, it will not cream together. To that I'm going to add vanilla. Now you can use homemade vanilla. Click that eye in the sky. It'll teach you how to make your own vanilla or you can just use store-bought. Add that in there. Now with this on low, I'm going to add my flour. Then of course, oats because it is an oatmeal cookie. This is one of those cookies you want to make sure that you scrape. Oh that smells really good. I have my silicone lined cookie sheets. I'm going to take my cookie scoop and one scoop of the dough. Remember to space these out a little bit. They're not going to spread too much. If you don't have a cookie scoop you want to make these about a golf ball size. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly grease the bottom of a, this is just a measuring cup, place it in some sugar, and gently pat down each of the cookies. Once you have your cookies all patted down, I'm going to bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes until they are nice and done and soft, and then we let them cool on the pan for about 5 minutes. That's important. Let them cool for about 5 minutes before you remove them to a cooling rack. I've let my cookies cool for five minutes after they came out of the oven. Now I'm just going to lift them off the pan. Now, let's give these a taste. These are really good. They have the rich oatmeal taste, the hint of cinnamon. These are fantastic. What I like about them the most is that they're nice and soft and moist. Oh, I would, I'm, I really do recommend these. Now, if you make these, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, which helps keep this channel going and lets me do even bigger recipes for you. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.